All right, so today we're gonna to talk about this, which is a motorized Pico Flex Dolly. If you're not familiar with the Pico Flex Dolly, it's this black object right here. It's used for video. You mount your video camera to the tripod head right here, essentially, and it gives you a nice smooth shot as it moves along. Now, what I've done is that for $30, I've added these parts to the back that will motorize this and make it go in forward or reverse. So what we're gonna do in this video today is we're gonna start off by just showing you some sample footage of how cool this looks. Then I'm going to tell you where to find the parts. And lastly, I'm going to give you some pretty detailed instructions on how to build this. So are you ready to get started, Bogues? Great. All right, so you've seen the sample footage, and now let me talk a little bit about how I built this. So basically we have our Pico Dolly here. There's two tires here, a battery compartment for double A's, a switch, a gearbox, and a piece of sheet metal that attaches this to the Pico Dolly. Here's the boxes for the, uh, for the equipment, the sports tire set, the six-speed gearbox, the battery compartment, the sheet metal, which will be 16 gauge you'll need. I'll post all this information in the description in the video here, and I'll also put it on my website in case you want to get it there. Now, let me actually get into next showing you how I built it. All right, here's the instructions that came with the gearbox. On top is the gear ratio for D, below is E. In this video, we're gonna do D. All right, now following the instructions that came with the gearbox, I already put the sprocket on the motor and then put the motor in the housing here. But uh, what we're gonna do here is follow basically uh, the instructions for the speed that we want the gearbox to be and go ahead and set up that gear ratio. Now, you'll, you'll see here that uh, I, don't, I don't show the lubricant being put on. It did come with it. Um, I put it on in a previous step, but uh, go ahead and put that, that little tube of lubricant on the gears here as you put it together. Next, you'll want to insert the locking pin into the axle. All right, next we're gonna cut this um, 26 gauge sheet metal to a measurement of five inches by two inches. You wanna be somewhat careful here too as the sheet metal can be sharp. From the front, measure half inch in and an inch from the side. We're gonna drill this out with a 1964 spit. If you don't have one, go with a 5 16 From the back of the plate, measure in an inch and a half and draw a straight line. This will be for the two screws that are needed to mount the gearbox. Here we take the assembled gearbox and put it on the plate and uh, using a sharpie uh, just mark the holes again. We have our inch and a half in mark and these holes should be drilled out with a 1 8 inch bit. Next we begin by attaching the gearbox to the plate itself using screws that were provided in the gearbox package. So do the one side and then repeat for the other side. Next go ahead and attach the tire to the axle. Um, you could probably do both at the same time and then come back and start putting the nuts on to tighten them. All right, next we're going to mount the battery box. I didn't show you how to put it together here. It's pretty easy to do if you follow the instructions. Basically mount it with double-sided tape or Velcro. Run the red lead to the top, the blue lead to the bottom, and when you're done, turn it on and see it go. Here we perform the last step, which is attaching the platform to the dolly itself. Basically unscrew the axle nut on the dolly, slip the platform over the top, put the nut back on, and turn it on and have some fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to motorize your Pico dolly. If you enjoyed it, I hope you share it with your friends. If you have any questions about these parts, where to find them, or how to put this together, 
feel free to reach out to me at www.mnwebco.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. In the next few weeks, we're going to have a couple other videos coming out. One about how to motorize your Juiced Link slider, and another um, a review of the Blackbird camera stabilizer. So stay tuned for those videos. And if you'd like to be notified about future videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.